Okay, so I finished the note on uh, using post-processing marine star navigation for positioning hydrographic data. In this note, I'm gonna talk about how to how I use the most accurate available to this data method or post-processing method, which is infusion single base method. So in order to do that, firstly, I'm gonna save this. There's another post pack project called Infusion Single Base. It will take a while and then uh, waiting for saving while waiting for the software to save as another post pack project. I'm going to go to the post pack processing manual and read about infusing infusion navigation single base. So in here we're going to have infusion single base method. So what is the difference between infusion single base method and infusion navigation single base method? So infusion sing navigation single base method, uh, it will use loosely couple the functional here and set data to generate the aspect solution. Unlike the Leo C, uh, okay, the implies separate in data workflow, it new integrated with new different uh, units technology into you know processor to promote uh, by more efficient accurate and reliable low risk couple navigation solar than that that the legacy car processing mode i'm not sure what is the difference between infusion genus at nap single base and uh, infusion single base but let's explore it out so infusion genus at nap and then you choose single base and then you need you need a base station so the base station here is available here i have this so we just we're gonna just uh, wrap this inside and we have uh this point which is v20 which is very close to the survey area so it must be a setup point i don't think it's a virtual station but let's select it as base station uh, primary based observation not overlap time. It's very sad. Uh, not overlap time. I'm not sure. So we have a bunch of other stations. So give it a try. A lot of them here. Just give it a try. We look for a base station that overlap with our data. Okay, so basically how to find that. Firstly you check the property. The property will have the date and the survey time. Not only the it need to have the date. There's no date here. Interesting that all the point is around here. Each and D. So we just select it and set as space station. No. If it's not working, we just remove it. Set the space station. No, we just remove it, just not working. Not set base station. Not working. Set base station. Not working. Set base station. Not working. Set base station. Oh, not working. Okay. Um, let's go to log file. Let's go to this report. I know that I have a report somewhere. We say that the base station basically. This is um, the inside this processing. They say this is the data and um, input files is here, which is the base station. So I'm gonna search for in this area 303329U. Okay, this inside here. Oh, it's inside the order 220. So you say that this is this is this can be a base station. Okay, we call V V oh zero uh V thirty. So we call the rover summary here, we don't care, we want to see the base station information. So the base station is V03. I think it should be working. So here I can select this as base station and finger quotes is working. So we will start processing that now. That's great. Perfect. So that is the base station. But uh, what I am confusing now which is the infusion single base method and infusion nav single base method. Which one is better? Infusion single base method and infusion nav 
So infusion single play processing also use tightly integrated panic infusion technology. It differ from a panic uh, smart way that only one dedicated play station is used as a reference station. So it's a single play station. Combining initial and DNSS data with infusion, so it's combining initial and DNSS data with infusion technology allows vehicle excursions beyond 20 km distance to the base station during the trajectory while maintaining fixed integer ambiguity recover at the DNSS outage and a high accuracy positioning solution. In airborne application, infusion remove the flatten restriction normally required to maintain the NSS signal tracking tool terms. For more information on single base station processing with infusion technology, see the technology and feature and processing techniques. Okay, so after processing this, I can have some uh, NSS QC statistic here, it, which is helpful. So normally, when I do this, I'm going to capture this. And I want to save as not in there, inside here, inside the project, inside log file, inside, inside single base, mission report. What I'm going to put in here, I'm going to put in uh, PPK, single base, uh, infusion, this app, if you get infusion single base, infusion single base, and which is CNSS. QC statistic. This information is helpful because I know how many uh, GNSS uh, GPS satellite use, how many grown up satellite use. So you can see that the smallest number of satellite is 5, the maximum number of satellite is 16, so all conditions are very good. On average, it's 13, which is, which is good because uh, all, all, most, most of the time it's 13. So, and then 99.6. Uh, five five percent just fix solution aspect and I'm okay with it so when I'm okay with it now I can start going to there and I'm not sure the infusion navigation map single bay is different from the other but I just give it a try I never run this one to be honest what is the difference between infusion GNSS map single base and other method what is that what is the difference between them I don't know Maybe this, this is just using navigation mainly. So it's writing the aspect file now. The accuracy is up to centimeter level, which is great. But I'm not sure why it is available. We have infusion method, so why we need this method. So basically I'm gonna I'm gonna make a report. No not gonna make a report, but just want to see how Accurate. So the maximum is zero. Man, it's just three centimeter level of accuracy, which is great. I just want to capture it and put it here. I'm not sure why it achieved this level of accuracy, but it's which is which is great. So I want to go to infusion single base, not infusion GNSS navigation. So what inside here? So inside here I can even have smart base, no by station, and then this one, but when I run this one, it will ask me to run Poach GNSS, which is another uh, cross. I'm just testing it out. So it requires Post GNSS separately to run it. So what is Post GNSS? Post GNSS. I mean, it's a position orientation system for full marine system. So it's require me to, uh, okay, so it's, it's to let me know that I don't have the hard lock for this software, uh, why I cannot access information, just because I don't have the hard lock. It's, uh, it's a good one, but I don't, it's not with it. What I want to export here, I want to export the, you know, I don't have anything to export. Basically, I don't have the license for that one. But what's inside that? 
boss back in a short way with mineral laws, a couple blah blah blah, using the pulse UNSS model to compute a uh, differential UNSS navigation solution, then combine differential UNSS navigation solution with the IMM measurement, and cherry to infuse in smart data single play station processing. Only pulse UNSS position and velocity solution are used in measurement for further integration of the IMU data. The post pack MMM software use the NSS processing algorithm to implement post pack post NSS computer analysis solution. Which, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's the difference. So basically, in fusion, they will have something called infusion technique. So it's not available. I don't use this. I just use the infusion single play. And then the base station is that one, which is already selected. And then I will run this, and let's see the level of accuracy compared with this one. So this one is um, Infusion, Genesect Nap, and Single Base. And this is the one that's running at the moment, which is Infusion, Single Base. What is the difference? I believe that the Infusion, Single Base is the best available method inside Postpack if I have only one single base station. station. But let's see how it works. But it's interesting that if I have one base station, I can have two different processing methods to get the post processing result for our positioning data of post for positioning data. I'm not sure which one is better. I think infusion single base is better. But like to get the try. I don't know, maybe this one is better and it will surprise me, but I believe infusion single base is better. I'm sure. We never know and we cannot conclude anything before we try it. Because it's uh, the real result depends on a lot of things. Especially the depends on the real data. So it's um so inside inside infusion single page processing we can see that the time of processing to produce uh, an, an s bed solution is longer than normal other processing method without any base station. So that is some of the sign that we can have better we can have better result of positioning data. But we don't know. Let's see. Uh, so it's writing. It's a lot of thing here. It's like forward processing, backward processing, and then you have a side forward processing now. So you do backward processing first, and then do the side forward processing. It take longer time. I think it's longer than the infusion you know, GNSS NAP single base method. So, um, but if we look at, at here, the single base method, we can see that even even for uh, with the correction, we still have some problem. So if there's no problem, the accuracy is, is even up to two centimeters per, per, in terms of the horizon total. But because uh, some problem with the uh, uh, missing or block out of some satellite, the data lo the solution location for this one is just three centimeters. It's just it's already very good. Three centimeters is really really good. So it takes a long time to finish the processing and now start writing the SBET file. I get the SBET file for 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 single base solution also bigger than the other solution. Let's give it a check it out. So it's writing the SBET solution now. So let's go to the mm, less accurate version of it. For example, inside the like the fusion auto, it's very quick to crop to produce this as beta is here, and the side of it is 586. Okay, and for single base, take a long time to process and write it out. So let's see. So I think the size should not be. A problem it should be similar. Yes, the, 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 the quality of solution is more important. So let's go to the report and uh, make it in single base here. Inside report, override it. Make sure I override it. <coughs> I want to compare with um, GenXS app single base method. <coughs> Done it. So I go to display report and make some plot for it. Just two of them. Wow, so this one is 0 0.3, so 3 cm. An infusion solution provide me 0 0.2, which is 2 cm, which is incredible. High accuracy. So that means infusion is a little bit better than a said now, a little bit better. Ah, okay. So here inside log file, inside single base, inside mission, inside report, I can say that just PPK uh, for infusion, single base. Uh, horizon for IMS. There's actually enough information for that here. And here, which is similar, vertical IMS. Infusion single bay vertical IMS. I'm done for that.
So I'm done for that and the level of vertical accuracy which is 3 cm which is really really good, crazy good. Why is so good like that? If I go to uh, smooth solution data, I can see the number of supply. The baseline is super small. You can see here the baseline is just 3 km from the base station to the surveying point which is so small, which is so small. Less than 5 km, that's why the level of accuracy is up to that level. And and it provides a similar similar level of accuracy in, with some of the research that I made, uh, some of the papers I read before. And um, from the beginning when I start processing this data, I was so worried about the quality of my, my research, my study, that the level of accuracy was so bad, which is like the SBAT real-time positioning, which is up to centimeter, like 20 centimeter accuracy. And, the, and the, even the post-processing is up to like centimeter level. But I understand now, and it's, it makes sense now, because of the, the, the most important thing in PPK and RTK positioning is the uh, baseline length. If you want to improve the level of accuracy, it's up to like centimeter level. You need to build a lot of more base station. And then if you want to have really, really accurate, really, really accurate um, positioning solution using, uh, for example, Postback, you can like inside a, a port or harbor, for example, harbor, and you want to have really accurate positioning inside harbor, you can do, you can set up a lot of base station along the, the, the channel. Like for example, in, in this case, I can set up three of them or four of them to so like that and then I can use the smart space solution inside Postpack and, and generate a new virtual base station which is uh, the optimal solution for that positioning data and then I can have really high accuracy level in terms of both uh, of and both positioning up to centimeter and that can be used for really really good so it's uh, it's really appealing and interesting and good to see that um, that level of accuracy is actually achieved using deep positioning and both processing method. And that's it uh, for the note of how to how to reduce a uh, single base PPK of post processing kinematic for hydrographic survey using uh, inside post pack using uh, real time raw real time navigation data recorded using post view on the vessel and a uh, base station set up not very far from that the baseline so this is three kilometer the, uh, the level of accuracy is up to you can see here the horizontal uncertainty is three centimeter which is incredibly high.